Mike Portnoy, one of my favorite drummers of all time. He was recently at the Drumeo Studios filming some excellent content, so today we're gonna sit around the campfire and enjoy it together. We're gonna watch him play Panic Attack, as I am, and for the finale, we'll watch the clip where Mike hears a Nickelback song for the first time. This is gonna be a good one. So let's kick it right off with Panic Attack. Yes, dude, I love Portnoy. Let's do this. Diarrhea blast. Welcome! Oh, it's so good! Daddy's back! I love the kit he's got for this Drumeo uh, stuff. Much smaller than his usual kit, but uh, it's okay. Here we go. The choir in there, dude, it's evil. Saying it right now, this is gonna be fucking amazing. Spike Portnoy, dude. He still plays with the butt end of his left stick for the extra fat. Double bass. What is he using? Speed Cobras or maybe DWs? I cannot see. Oh, that's so groovy. Like how he's got the bell on top of the stacks. He's done that before, right? Here we go. You guys, I think I'm enjoying this more than the uh, Jonathan Moffat video. Crossover on the crash. I don't know if I've seen him do that before. Phil. Oh, dude. Just watching Mike, Mike play. I don't know what it is. He's one of my favorite drummers to watch. 
Ever. Alright. Here comes the sex break. Oh my god! It just works so well! Keyboard solo! Yeah, with the stacks. Can you believe I've been watching Portnoy for so many years and I still don't have a fucking stack on my kit? Why am I so lucky? It'll happen soon. So percussive. It's like the Mega Man part. <coughs> yep, just choke while you're filming a video, you jackass. Yeah, the stank face. He make it the stank face. He's probably so stoked to be playing Dream Theater songs again. Holy shit. And we're only in the first song. I'm already talking too much. It's Portnoy. What do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? That was so fucking good, man. So fucking good. Big Bird has returned to Sesame Street, ladies and gentlemen. And he still got it. He still got it. It's like he never left, hey? He just, I don't know, he's just got that unique style. And those signature fills. Boing! Yeah, I just, I, I can't tell you how uh, happy I am that he's back in Dream Theater. Nothing against Mangini. He did a fucking great job for the last 10, 13 years, however long it's been. But yeah, dude, Mike Portnoy for Dream Theater. It's, you know, it's, you know. So before we get to the next song, I would like to thank the sponsors of this video, G2A. Also known as Gate to Adventure, G2A is a digital entertainment marketplace and you can get some sick discounts on your favorite video games and more. If there's a game you're looking for, just type it into the search bar. Actually, let's try it together. Baldur's Gate is uh, the talk of the cab right now, so let's search for that. And I play on Steam, so for the purposes of this, I'm gonna click on the Steam version. But yeah, there you go. You can buy the game for under 30 bucks on here. And usually it's like six so half price and when you buy a game on here you get the key instantly there's no waiting around you can just start playing right now there's also amazing software discounts too let's say you're building a new computer and you need a copy of Windows 11 which is usually over a hundred bucks but on G2A you can buy the license for twenty how you like that? They even gave me a 10% off discount code just for you guys. Use the code SAMUS at checkout. It'll work for any games, DLCs, and software. Just keep in mind, it only works once per user. I'll put the links and code down below so you can check it out for yourself. Thank you so much, G2A, for sponsoring this video. Back to Portnoy, as I am.
So solid, man. You like? He's got the ozone crash on the left, huh? He used to have one of those. It's great! The fuck is wrong with me today? <laughs> oh well. That's just what we get. You can really hear the difference it makes him turning that stick around for the snare rim shots. So much more low end and firm. That, that little hi hat he does. That's, I feel like that's one of his signatures, sneaking in a quick hi hat open with the left hizzle. You know what I am saying? I'm noticing that uh, over the years he's, he's made his cymbals lower and lower. I've kind of, I, I can understand that. When you get older, your shoulders hurt. <laughs> I don't know how Mangini does it. Does he say it? Damn it. I got the part wrong. All right, that was even better. It is time for the bridge section. And considering how slow of a song this is, he's keeping time very, very well. I've barely heard him get off of the Or you, know, you know what? It could be Moises. They could have given him the Moises click. Sometimes it's not accurate. I don't know though. Oh. Love when he does those triplets. Jesus, John Petrucci, save some shredding for the Bahi. Amazing. Okay, here we go. Oh, I did it. Oh. Got a chub. This is 
so nostalgic for me. I'll explain why in just a minute. Oh my god. Let's fucking go, dude. Yeah! No Octobons, but he's got those concert toms, I guess they're called. Oh, that's right, Daddy. I can't believe I get to say this, but to all of you out there watching, please welcome the legendary please Mike welcome. Portnoy. Oh, seeing Mike play that song in particular is... Yeah, it's just extra special for me because Train of Thought was the album that came out right after I really started getting into Dream Theater when I was in high school. I just, I remember sitting in my friend's car the day it came out. We, we had the album on repeat. We were just geeking the fuck out. So, uh, Mike, if you happen to see this video, dude, thank you for being such an amazing inspiration. What a legend. And now, for the grand abahi, Senor Portnoy is going to listen to Burn It to the Ground by Nickelback for the very first time. I'm bailing. If I don't hear something in the next 10 seconds, I'm out of here. No, no, no. It's your turn. Oh, oh, oh man. It is I'm time scared. to be I've waited a long time for this one. We'll load up the song. I wonder if I'm going to know it. We got a bunch prepped, so just give me the thumbs up if you know the song. Oh, if I know it, I'm fucking doing it. <laughs> I'd rather do something I know. Bleed by the sugar. Oh, my God. <laughs> no. No. I know I'm like the prog metal guy, but I don't want to play that shit. I knew Mike Portnoy was my favorite drummer. He doesn't want to play Bleed either. High five! Oh! They're giving him the drumless track. You know what, I'm not sure if I've heard this Nickelback song either. Is this... Is this Nickelback? This is Nickelback, yeah. Okay, wait. I have to tell this. Do I, I have to tell the story, right? Please. Please tell the story. Bless. Oh God, I got a call from Nickelback in spring of '22. Uh, their drummer, I guess, was having surgery, and Wait. they asked me to <laughs> to play a show with them. And I said, Yeah, yeah, with Nickel. Yeah. When did he do this? Fun gig. So I was all set to play this gig with Nickelback. Oh, it was for a festival, and the festival ended up getting canceled. So I never played this gig. God but I damn was it. this close to playing a gig with Nickelback. But now here's the story, this is why- Who the, who, who canceled that festival? What is his name, I want it. Jose's fucking me. Of course, everybody in the world knows these songs, but I don't, I don't listen to the radio, so I don't know any Nickelback songs. I'm, I'm living for this moment. All right, all right. Let me, let me at least, I'll start with just the arrangement. Make a little chart. When I do charts, when I'm doing chart. sessions, basically, the left side is the arrangement, verse, pre-chorus, chorus, bridge, solo, and then the right is what I want to play. So I'll do one of my typical charts. All right, let me hear this fucking thing. The pop dark chart party. See, I thought it was, I thought it was Mammoth. Or Extreme. All right, intro. Four times on the verse. That's. He's planning what he wants to do in the beats already. I love it. I feel like this is going to be a pretty flawless playthrough. Just because how, how he's preparing uh, in this way. I'm going to do double bass on the chorus. He's going to destroy that shit. And it's going to be great. That's pretty much the beat. He's already got it. Oh, that's how it ends. He's going to kill it. Wow. So I take it this wasn't one of the ones that you uh, reviewed on your set list from Chad. Well, Chad sent me to set list and... My daughter and my wife are like, oh, you're going to know every one of these songs. And I was like, I've never heard any of these songs. <laughs> oh. So I don't remember if this was on the set list or not. Uh, but I swear I'm not cheating. I, it's not like I know the song. I don't. I'll, 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 let's give it a whirl. But that ending was abrupt. That was, that was a premature evacuation. It's funny, too. I, during COVID, uh, my hair went completely gray, as it is now. <laughs> and then when I got the call to do the Nickelback gig, I, I ended up dying it. I was like, I can't. Do a gig with Nickelback looking like a fat old fucking 50 year old Santa Claus. <laughs> but what? So let's give it a shot. I oh, can't yeah. Wait to hear this. First take Mike Portnoy plays Nickelback. Mm. Woo! Uh. 
I hear nothing wrong. Oh. Don't tease us with that double bass too much yet. Ooh. Great, Phil. I was really hoping he would do that. It's a good song. I think he's enjoying it too. Please. Just do it. Just lay into it. There you go. <laughs> Will we get the end? Ah, oh, almost. That's that premature evacuation. <laughs> That's a good song, man. <laughs> the world needed that, Mike. You know what? Like, I could do, I could fine tune that. And make a really cool drum part, but I think it's better. I think it's Probably, better. Probably, but just the first impression. Wow. Are you sure you want to go back to Dream Theater? That might be your <laughs> new calling. <laughs> that was great. Of course, my favorite parts were, you know, the double bass and the signature fills that he added in there. You know, I like it that. Thing. And yeah, I had no idea. No idea he almost played a show with them. Damn it, that would have been awesome to see. <laughs> but there you have it, folks. The grand fucking master, Mike Portnoy. I think Mike will always be one of my all-time favorites. And if he's not one of yours, you suck. To those who are Bachi, I will drink your pee.